is your current bantamweight champion uh, of UFC and one of the stars of Fight Incorporated inside the UFC, a Roku original that premieres today exclusively on the Roku channel, the one, the only Sugar Sean O'Malley here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, sir? Good to see you. What's up, guys? Good to be seen. How, How are you guys you? doing? Where, where have I found you? Where are you? I am at one of my houses, uh, chilling. We're going to have a little pool day, and uh, it's, it's 103,000 degrees out. Damn. <laughs> uh, can you, um, if you know, we just met, so share with me whatever you're willing to, to share. What does a pool day at the Sugar Sean O'Malley <laughs> house uh, look like? What is that? What, what, like, walk me through it. Paint the picture for me, if you don't mind. <laughs> how, how, yes. old how old yes. is she how old is she how old is she how uh, old is your daughter I have a, she, she's three so she's gonna have a couple of her little friends come up and we're gonna have a little uh you know sit in the pool for a little bit and okay. then do a little barbecue yeah are you cook are you grilling are you the one grilling are you at the grill uh, it's a new little hobby i picked up grilling some steaks i uh, I, I used to hate cooking and recently i'd say about a year for about a year, I've been enjoying whipping up some steaks. Okay. So could you get a contract in the Grilling Contender Series? <laughs> Can you do that? I, I am a low-level white belt at cooking, I would say. <laughs> so I, I don't think so. <laughs> I use a meat thermometer, a little Bluetooth meat thermometer. So, I mean, I don't mess it up too bad. I, I enjoy the way it tastes, you know. So it's uh, – I could improve. Okay, but it's pretty good. I understand. So, so there's a there's a there's a ceiling, and you haven't reached your ceiling on that yet. So, no. Have you reached your ceiling in uh, in UFC inside the octagon, Sean? <laughs> Definitely not. You know, I feel like I'm uh, improving every week. I- I'm continuing to get better uh, at every aspect of fighting, and you know, I- 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 I'm 29 right now. I feel like I'm almost in my prime and uh i still feel like there's plenty of room to grow when did you realize you could do this that you were good at this um when i was 16 naturally was just like a really good kickboxer i uh yeah just i feel like fighting came very natural to me i've always looked at it as more of a sport than like a fight more like it's it, it is a violent sport but i've always kind of approached it as a more of a chess game to where it's like you know move versus move skill versus skill rather than like i just you know there's don't get me wrong that last fight against cheeto i love inflicting damage on him the dude's a dork but uh <laughs> for the most part uh, it's more of a it's more of a game sport that to me so um so you started fighting in montana that's where you started that's where you started honing your craft yep okay yeah, I started fighting in Montana when I was 16. Helena, Montana, home state. Grew up there, lived there till I was 19, and then moved to Phoenix and trained at, you know, one of the best gyms in the world. I was training at the MMA lab. Okay, and who 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 called you Sugar for the first time? How did that happen? Sorry, say that again. No, I was trying to. My, my AirPod died mid conversation, so I was trying to switch it. What was that? No problem. It's all it's all good. Uh, is is the AirPod situation good now? Are we fine? You just take it out. I don't care. You're fine. Yeah, with that. that uh connected to Peppa Pig on my other phone <laughs> that Elaine's watching right now, so that didn't work. <laughs> so wait a minute. All of a sudden we're conducting this interview and you're 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 your Bluetooth connected to your three year old daughter's watching Peppa Pig right now? Is that what just happened in the middle of this interview? Sean? Did that happen? Yeah, my right my right head, my right one died. Let me let me I'm sorry about that. Let me turn this. It's okay. This is not my bad. That's my bad. <laughs> it's all good. This is great. No, you have no idea. Uh, it's been a while. My daughter is 10 now, so it's been a while since I've watched Peppa Pig, but I know exactly what your daughter's locked into right now, brother. I know it. Yeah, she. She. I got. so I got the AirPod in. We're, we're, we're cooking on it. I don't know what the battery life is, but uh, we're, we're ready about that. It's actually better without it in, to be honest with you. I don't know if that works for you. Oh, yeah. You there, Sean? It's what? It's better with it out. Yeah, it's a, you know, it's, it's better with it out. I you, just it's, it's there, you go. I, uh, there you go. That works for me. There you go. I'm very very quiet. 
Mine's turned all the way up. I don't mind it. I don't, honestly, I've, it's been a long time since I've watched Peppa Pig. But here's the one thing, Sean. I don't like Here's the one thing. Not my favorite show. Uh, who, who's your least favorite opponent? Who's the one that you like inflicting damage on the most, for instance? It, it was Cheeto. You know, okay. I like beating him up, especially with the first fight, how it played out, and everyone thought he was better than me, and I knew. Skill for skill, I was just the better fighter, and I had to live with that for three and a half years. So once the once the time rolled around that I got to really, you know, put my, my hands on him, it felt good. Right. Um, I feel like I'm going to enjoy putting my hands on Marab, who's next as well. Okay. He's been, he's been talking a lot, you know, and – uh I'm excited, excited for that one. Uh, yeah, because for me, in terms of kids cartoon characters, uh, Caillou is my Cheeto. I would want to <laughs> inflict as much damage on Caillou as I possibly can. Your daughter's not watching Caillou, is she, Sean? I, I'm, I don't think so. I'm not familiar with that one, so I don't think oh, she's, she's watched we, that one. Just do, let me do you that favor. If you ever see her watching Caillou. We 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 st- we we uh we submit his ass. Okay, can <laughs> you do that, Sean. please? Uh, I'm helping 100%. you. I'm helping. She's on a she's on a frozen kick right now. Oh, she's that's just, fine. It's frozen on repeat. That's good. You know, that's 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 out. By the way, I would pay to hear you sing "Let It Go" in a million. So I, a lot of people would. I, I I think a lot of people would. I think that would raise a ton of money for charity, brother. <laughs> that is, that is for sure. Uh, what do you envision? Like, what's your what's your vision of success? ultimate success for you um you know i i one one thing i've always been talking about before i even got in the ufc was i wanted to be a pay-per-view star i i huge fan of connor um connor floyd those guys are, are pay-per-view legends and uh you know i, I would like to I, I it's hard now today's age today like people can stream pay-per-view so much easier and it's it's like you know, a lot different, but I, w- I would like to be known as like the pay per view, pay per view king, pay per view star. So like, that's the goal. Have you spoken to Connor about that sort of thing? Have you connected with him on that? No, I, I, Connor threw some shots at me recently. Uh, hmm. I don't know. I think I think Connor knows that his time's coming and my time's you know now. So I think there might be a little jealousy there. He'd probably disagree. I've always been a you know a Connor supporter, huge Connor fan, but he's throwing shots lately. So all right, well that's not all right, but I I, I hear you. Um, did I see you at the Brady roast? Were you at the Brady roast, Sean? You did see me. I feel like everyone saw. It. That's like if I felt like the cameraman was just sitting in front of me like the whole time. I yep. I, I felt like, uh, but uh, yeah, that was that was very cool. Uh, front row, sitting right there. Got to got to meet a lot of cool guys and uh, had a hell of a time. Who'd you enjoy meeting? I'm seeing you with Gronk and Edelman up on the screen right uh, now. Me, meeting Tom was cool. You know, he's a legend. Uh, it's cool to be around greatness. I think uh, when when it comes to legendary status, greatness, I think longevity is a, a huge part of that. And to meet someone like Tom was really cool. Didn't really have much of a conversation with them. But you know, I got to say what's up, and uh, that was really cool. Do you uh, do you have an NFL team that you root for, at all? What's that? Do you have an NFL team that you root for, at all? No, I I used to be I used to be a diehard Broncos fan, and once I moved to Phoenix, I kind of stopped watching football as much, and just kind of you know wasn't really into sports as much as I was gotten to UFC. But I just like watching high level athletes like uh right now so it's been cool watching like patrick mahomes do his thing um you know joey b i'm i'm fans of athletes more than the sports teams at this point okay well listen um sean uh great chatting with you hopefully we get to do this a little bit more often uh if you're in la i'd love to have you here in person because i'd love to you know look you in the eye and uh and and have a, a you know a conversation about life in general and and uh, get more get more of a of a sit down with you. Yeah, I would love that. Yeah, yeah, I would love that. Sorry I, about my uh, I was a little my, my audio my. It's all good. Don't worry about it. Bluetooth. Sean. Had a lot of, but it'd be easier in person. Yeah, <laughs> listen, Peppa Pig wouldn't uh, burst in. That's for sure. So, uh, so your daughter, your daughter is how? What's her name? Sean. Elena, she is spoiled. She's a spoiled little princess right now, of and course. she's been throwing fits. And she is. <laughs> 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 
Hey. <laughs> no. Oh. Look at that pool. Nice setup, brother. I like the setup. I like the setup. All right. So get this, it. yeah, this is our old house. We moved. I moved to. Uh, moved out to. I got a little farm out in Arizona now. This is the, the pool at that house isn't set up yet. So we come here to go swimming. Okay, very good. And then obviously, you know, uh, the screen time for your daughter will be over. Throw her in the pool, feed her some. Uh, feed her some of that food and. And I look forward to seeing uh, the, you in the documentary on the Roku channel, this Roku original fight, Inc. inside the UFC. Greatly appreciate you uh, coming on to help us promote it, sir. Appreciate it. Hell yeah. Thank you, guys. You got it. You All be right, well. Brother. Sean O'Malley, everybody, the, the one and only. Sugar Show. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.